I just ask you a few questions? Sure. So what are your, what are your initial reactions to some of, the, some of what the judge had to say today? Well, I think the judge was very fair to both sides. I think that she listened carefully to the city's arguments and to ours, and I think that her ruling was, you know, what, it was good. It was a good ruling, what she made, and we're looking forward to getting the documentation we need so we can move forward in the case and we'll get depositions done. And I think the judge is really trying to fast track the case at this point. So I, th I think that Mr. War will see some justice, uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully by this summer, maybe by the end of the year so. How do you think that some of the, um, you know, pr production of these documents is going to help your case moving forward? I don't know, it depends what the documents say. Um, I think the main question is the history of the officers, whether there's been prior complaints against them, uh, prior excessive force complaints against the RPD. We have to see what, what shows up. I, I have no idea what complaints there may or may not be, but we'll find out you know, soon enough. What were you expecting before you walked in here today, and how did this kind of meet or, or, or settle with your expectations? I think I was expecting that the judge would um, give us some discovery, and I think the main issue was the scope of it, the uh, duration, and I, I think what the judge did is you know, she kind of divided it in half, the duration I wanted. So I really felt she was being fair to both sides, you know, in, in the end. So, uh, but, but no, I'm, I'm pleased. I think the judge um, made a very good decision here uh, regarding what documents should be disclosed, and we're, we're pleased with today's outcome. What, what's next? We got to see what the documents have to say. Yeah. So we'll get our documentation. See what there is. Uh, go forward with depositions of the officers and then of the the non-party uh, witnesses, mm -hmm. and we'll keep pushing the case forward. So we also got to get our experts involved. Um, we'll likely have a, a life care planner who will uh, determine what Mr. War's future medical care will be, mm -hmm. and we'll have to get an economist who will determine what the cost will be. And um, also, we're looking into possibly retaining a police expert on the case. So. And uh, party and non-party, what, what is that re referring to? Uh, party depositions would be the individually named defendants, okay. uh, former Chief Shepard, uh, Officers Libertor, Ferrigno, and uh, Stewart. And then the non-party depositions would be the witnesses who hmm. witnessed the actual event and what happened. Okay. So I know there's about five or six of them who will have to you know, take their testimony under oath concerning what happened. And... Um, uh, uh, th the beginning, the judge was insinuated, or not insinuated, but, but talking about a letter that be was between you and Spence, uh, you and Mr. Ash, about confidentiality of, of discovery documents you're requesting and she's granting. And I'm wondering, what does that say in terms of like the press, or what can you release, or what can't you release? Well, I, um, under Civil Rights Law Section 50A, uh, that is a, a state statute which protects personnel records of officers. So okay. the question is, is what personnel records are there uh, and should they be protected? So uh, I think what the judge wants to do from this point forward is she wants to see what documents will be coming out or released. She wants Mr. Ash and I to discuss those documents in which, if any of them, should be subject to a confidentiality agreement. She wants to see if Mr. Ash and I can agree on what records should be remain confidential and if we have a disagreement as to what documents should remain confidential we can always go back to the judge and she'll decide the issue so it's really just a wait and see to what they yes what they wait put and out. see to see what they produce okay at this point were you buying any of the arguments about the city saying it's we don't even know if we can search the database and you know it's like it's such an onerous task and i mean oh. running a city is like running a business there's got to be a way to search the record so uh, we're hoping that that gets done you know quickly uh, any last comments? Uh, no, just pleased that we're going to get our documents and we can move forward with okay. Benny's case. Were you happy with the turnout today? Yes, it's always good to see supporters. Excellent. So. All right, thanks a lot. Hey, thanks, Ted. Um, I think that uh, uh, everything was well. You know? Right, if I put a microphone in your face? Yes, go ahead, man. <laughs> okay, so what are your reactions? Um, my reactions is good. I think that, uh, you know, God is with me and uh, everything went wonderful. You know, I don't know too much about the law, but uh, I think that it's, uh, it's working now. You know, uh, I just thank everybody who came for support and, uh, you know, I just love each other. You know? Were you surprised by what, what the judge, what the judge had to say? Um, 
I was more, um, I, you know, I really didn't know, you know what I'm saying? But uh, when I looked and seen some smiles, I guess everything was all right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know? But, um, yes, ma'am, it's just been a blessing today, you know what I'm saying? It really, truly been a blessing. I thank everyone who has uh, been down here to supporting. And, uh, you know, I think the judge uh, did what you needed to do. You know, so everything's okay. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. God bless you.